fucking stomp. That's like stomp. I went to that. Frog, Matt Frolic! Matthew Frolic! He's so happy to be doing parkour! Yay! Yay, Matthew. Frolic, Matt Frolic! <laughs> To me, parkour is doing your own tricks, running and jumping and trying to do whatever you want, trying to be innovative. I like parkour because it's a way for me to express you know, my own ideas of what looks cool and stuff. I think my favorite stuff would be the you know, jumping long distances and trying to jump from one object to another while doing like a spin in between or something. Um, you, you might be wondering about my eye. Yeah, it's actually, it is a parkour related um, accident. I was uh, trying to jump over James Wu's car and I got the antenna right in the eye. Boop! And it just hasn't been the same since, so. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I am a handicapped tressure like uh, Rob over, over here. Over here. Um, he broke his toe the other day, so we're kind of waiting on that one. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Recording. Nice. Parkour is a sport that's really fun to do, and uh, it's not just a sport. It's something that you can use wherever you go, whenever you do it, and uh, it's just a great another way to get around that's not something that everybody else uses. It's using obstacles that people don't see every day, and every time we go out, you see something new, whether it's the same place every time, and it's just a great thing to go and do. Parkour's changed my life because every time we go out, uh, I see something new. Every time we drive past a place, uh, I see like things that I can do parkour on and everything. You can do it anywhere. That's what I love about it. Is uh, It's not just something where you have to go to a skate park or find a handrail or something. You can do it anywhere on anything, and that's just one of my favorite things about it.
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rob, I don't know how you can do that. I truly hope parkour doesn't become one of those it sports where everyone does it and then we become the posers that are just doing it because it's the cool thing, even though we're the awesome, sweet tracers that start it. We'll second to David Bell and Sebastian Fouquet. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Fine, just wait, give me a second. <laughs> I, I like, I, I can't feel my face, like I can. <laughs> okay, so Rob. <coughs> yes. Okay. Just for the record, I don't look like Luke Skywalker, nor will I ever look like Luke Skywalker. Parkour has definitely given me a new look on life. Uh, I see things differently now, you know. I walk outside and I'll see one of those green electric boxes. Wouldn't think it's significant before, but hey, parkour. You know, I say, hey, I could cash that. You know, I could dash it. I could Kong it. I could you know, mom it. <laughs> You know, and then you know, when I see gates and everything and stairs, I say, hey, I don't have to climb up. I can just PK and cat leap and, and vault and it's flipping sweet. My favorite part about parkour is just not being a drone like everyone else in this world. I like to be different and awesome. And when you do parkour, it really makes you a sick person because you're like awesome. And people are like, whoa, he's like Spider-Man. Even though we don't have any powers, we're just tracers.
Oh, hey, what up, guys? Hey, what up? 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 Come on in, you're finally here. Let's go. Yeah. Hard to hit 10. So I'm gonna do a Kong. Parkour isn't just a sport, you know, it's it's like you use it in everyday life. Everybody participates in parkour, not just chasseurs, everybody. Everybody who goes to work, everybody who drives to the grocery store, they, you know, get around the parking lot, they overcome obstacles, you know, someone pushes a shopping cart in front of them or something, they gotta go around. Everybody overcomes obstacles every single day and everybody practices parkour. Just we do it in a more mechanical way, more obvious way. Parkour is an art form, it's a way to express yourself because these obstacles that are set up in our environment, they're put there you know, by the construction workers, you know, whatever, but every tresseur can approach them differently. Every, every tresseur, every individual tresseur will approach it differently and do a different trick and no two dashes are the same. That's how parkour is an art form and tresseurs paint their executions. Is overcoming obstacles, conquering environments, overcoming barriers that our society has constructed to contain us. I love our living animals inside are not meant to be contained. That's why Paco is freedom, Paco is flight, when everything struggles like penguins to get off the ground. Trust me, spread your wings.
recording me, aren't you? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty much absolutely really funny. Is it cool? <laughs> yeah. It really, it, a lot of it can connect with everyday life because in everyday life you're not going to have a smooth journey. You're going to have, you know, boundaries that you're going to have to overcome. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to, you know, have a test that you have to study for, you're going to have to go into work early, you're not going to be able to just go through smoothly. And the point of doing parkour is so that you can overcome these boundaries, overcome the things that are thrown in front of you, and go through it as smoothly as possible. Because if they weren't there, you'd go smoothly, and you want to maintain that smoothness even when they're in your way. Everyone executes a move differently, everyone's not going to Kong the box the same or vault over a rail the same and not everyone's going to do the same vault over a certain wall when they approach it. It's all about what your human instinct is to do when you come to an obstacle and you have to overcome it. <laughs> You're not taking the path that society has sort of built for you, that society has defined that you take. You're taking the path that you feel you want to take, the path that you are creating. And in this way, you are defining yourself and creating almost an art piece. Not everyone's going to move in the same straight line or move over it an obstacle the same, so you're kind of creating.